Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick, it's not really quick, um, this year November 2019, um, general reading. So it's going to be love and romance and then career and finance. I have separated the reading. I pulled three cards uh, for each, career and finance and then love and romance. Um, I did this reading with this mic. And um, yeah, you couldn't hear me. So I'm now doing it over. Really, 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 really good reading. Okay. Um, Aquarius, how you come into the month is the world for love and romance. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, You've learned a lesson here. You've come into your own. Uh, lots of enlightenment and self-acceptance. You've done the reflection. You've done the better man. You, you've cried it out. You've talked it out. You understand exactly where you are, who you are, what you're supposed to be doing. You've come into some awareness in regards to your, your own journey. Like for some of us, we'll do, do more for the fold. Whatever fold you belong to. As single people um, as a married individual or someone in a partnership you have to divide yourself to that partnership and then to the fold but if you don't have a marriage if you don't have a partner you can commit 100% to whatever cause whatever life path it is you you have taken but that's for some of us it's not everybody's going to be single for the duration of this life but for some of you that's how it is um, so yes yeah, some of you come into your own um, the advice for the month of November 2019 is the will of fortune do understand that so the, the will governs the tens. We're talking about the ten of cups, the ten of pentacles, the ten of swords, the ten of wands. Some tough times can be over. Going it alone can be over. Carrying a heavy load is over. You will know how to delegate. You will have help. There are helpful people. Or some of you will be coming into partnership. Real long-lasting, life-lasting partnership. Do know that luck is on your side. Uh, see where Jupiter is in your chart. Um, even with luck being on your side, don't try to control that aspect. Don't hear, oh, luck is on my side. So I'm going out tonight and I'm going to meet three men, three women. I'm going to, you know, meet my potential mate. You don't control how luck shapes and forms for you. You just rest in the energy of knowing that the will is now turning in your favor. For the will turns for all of us. We have our ups and our downs. But now understand that you've learned some lesson here. The will, the world and the will. Um, and now it's time for you to progress and to walk into some really good and really heavy energy. You some, some of you are like being initiated into a new way of, of doing a new existence and new love. But I forget to mention the overall energy is the Eight of Swords. Some of you are thinking that it's never going to happen. You're in some negative cyclical thoughts of why isn't it happening? Why, why not now? This is an element of um, mystery too. Or some, maybe someone could be thinking about you. Maybe there could be a return of someone. There is someone in heavy thought about about uh, what is with you. Maybe even the other person's finances. This is other people's money. So it could be mystery in regards to what this person is doing. What they're doing with their money, if they have money, what they're doing with their time, their energy, sexual activity, who is getting the best of 
someone is thinking heavily it could be you Aquarius it could be someone else about maybe someone you're separated from maybe someone that there was a departure um, or there is a departure someone is wondering if it's really really over if it's dead this person is in a coffin with crows around them so it's like how do I revive how do I it's too much of not knowing I'm you know I'm not strong enough to come out of this dead situation the universe is ushering in these things for you and then some of you are thinking like this very contrary very contradictory to what it is you have going for you so if you if you take the advice of the cards which is the will of fortune the outcome is the four cups some of you some of you did like some magic work for yourself to bring someone back in Yeah, you wanted a reconciliation with someone, some masculine energy. This might have been some feminine energy that did a lot of work to bring someone back in. But what they come offering, it may seem like their heart in their hand or, or, they're, or they're bearing their soul. But at, at the same time, there's an element of it not being enough or not being good enough or not being the offer that you're expecting or you you deserve. For some of you, it's like, um, it took too long. I'm hearing it took too long. For some of you, you've already had a change of mind, a change of journey. For some of you, question a person's motives in regards to coming back to you. Um, question your own motives now that you, you have become aware and enlightened that why you would even want this person back what do you want from this person what is the end game the end result here what is it what is it all about but there there could be a return a resurfacing there's a complex decision to make in regards to them resurfacing also because for some of you it's like well I'm kind of over it and then for some of you it's like I don't want that offer I thought you were gonna come back with like a ring and we're gonna run away into the sunset and you're talking about hooking up and getting started you know a situation back over again um clarifying the four of cups and the outcome is the hanged man the six of swords the empress some, of, some people may come back with um, a hidden agenda, hidden motives. Some, some of these people are homeless or without or they just want you back. There's an element of missing you, missing the stability, missing something about the connection you had. Somebody is finding that being with you is useful. You are useful. This relationship is useful. If that's good enough for you, take them back by all means. Someone is looking at you as the empress, the, the number one queen bee of all the women in their life, maybe even their mother. Someone is coming back with so many promises. They want to make peace with you. They want to apologize. They want to move forward. They want to take care of you. They want to take you on trips. They want to go. But the shells here are hidden something is hidden about this offer something like it just doesn't resonate we have love they do love me so if, it, if it's a question of oh do they love me yes they love you but you know um do they have the best intention for you is more so the question you want to ask or well, what intention do they have for you if any right um and then we have jealousy there's another shell. Um, I'll pull another one. What is this person, this four of cups individual? What is this all about? 
Okay, two came out. Then I say marriage could be a good thing, right? Lies. I mean, like this person is. I just feel like they're saying anything just to you know get back in the fold. Like, okay, yeah, and um, yeah, and I'll, I'll rub your feet every night, and uh, I'll run bath water, and uh, I'll pay all the bills. They don't have a job. You know, like this is a person. They just want back in. You provided something that they don't have elsewhere. Um, they could be married or they could want marriage with you, but who wants someone to propose marriage? Let's say what let's say that this is the four cups, right? They propose marriage. But only because they need a place to live or they need stability in their life or need a car to drive or hot meals at night. I don't know. You know, it's like you're, it's, it's the four cups proposals. Like, look at you and look at this could be you. This could be them. They're destitute without desperate in despair or that could be you. Getting this offer heart in hand from this person, but saying you you haven't changed, you don't have anything to offer. We're still talking about the same things, but you want to marry me? Yeah. Um, no. And this person could be wanting you back because look where they are. They're bored. They're disappointed, discontent where they are in life. So it's like Aquarius is the better opportunity. Good luck with that. For some of you, you're just over it and you're going to say no. And But this is just forewarning in regards to someone returning. With a half-ass offer that maybe filled with lies, um, hidden things. And they may even be jealous of you. There might be an air of jealousy um, because you have what they don't. They may love you um, and they may even want the marriage. But what do they have in order to keep the marriage alive? Are you still talking about the same issues? Are you still going to be going over the same things? Marriage also... Don't get it twisted. It could be that they want to be married to a certain status and level with you. Um, I want you as the other woman. I'm willing to take care of you in that regard. I want you to marry me or come to some, some marriage or arrangement that this is what we have. While I still have maybe another real marriage where there's documents and papers and a was a ceremony um and but with you i want an arrangement that is how some of you could be getting that proposal For some of you you're like hey i'm good i don't want it thank you is there somebody new coming in so i pulled a spread for that right oh yeah that was the shell i was looking for closed close he's some of you are close to this person you're close to the idea of having this damn person because it's like no i don't mm -mm, no i don't want to be your side person for the rest of my life for the duration of yours um or and or no i don't want to marry you because you need a place to stay no i'm good um so is there someone else coming in we're going to talk about this on the other side. I pulled a spread for those of us who are concerned about new energy and newness. Okay. Um, I will say I am uh, definitely interested in expounding on that spread. Okay. So let's jump into career and finance. Career and finance, how Aquarius comes into the month of November 2019 for career and finance. The world, you have the world in love too. Aquarius, you've been kicking ass. Like you have just set with self 
for a, maybe a year it can be seven years it could be just whatever cycle you were in you were just like i'm going to get this right i'm coming out of this heavy burden this cycle of of of, of negativity of not getting it right of um not having exactly what i want um I'm coming into my own. I'm accepting something in regards to my career and my and my finances. Um, maybe I haven't been aligned. I'm coming into a more enlightened, um, heightened state of myself, maturity in regards. Um, I'm recreating myself also. I have done X, Y, Z for so many years, but what really um, marries my soul is something different. And for a long time, I repressed that that nature, that energy. But now I'm coming into accepting the fact that there's a new chapter. There's a new day. There's something new dawning for me. It's a song, right? Um, so that's really good. This is how you come into the month. Like, you know, this is, I'm doing something new. You could be even making an announcement to friends, family, or people close to you or even holding your cards close to your chest in regards to what is new for you um the advice of the cards is the nine of earth so what this we talks about successful self-employment talks about being abundant enjoying life's luxury some of you are retired or going to retire some of you are going to go into a more independent way of earning income independent contractor entrepreneur starting a business whatnot whatever it may be for you um because where you are you are restless in your current position because you had this business opportunity idea on your mind on your heart and it wouldn't settle it wouldn't settle now you're accepting it like okay this is what i'm supposed to be doing very good. The advice of the cards is the nine of pentacles. You can do it, Aquarius. If you take to the advice of the cards, you get the messenger of fire. Nice. The knight of wands. Things and doors open quickly. There might be an opportunity, a window of opportunity for you to jump at, to jump through, to to take advantage of. Um, time is really of the essence here um this is maybe you getting a call getting a yeah getting a call getting something a message that tells you hey we need your service at this given time we're paying x amount of dollars we even want to put you put you on contract or or something of that nature you have to be ready to fulfill that very 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 good things move fast for you once you buckle down and say this is for me this is what i'm doing you may be getting a lot of business also the bottom of the deck is the judgment call or the judgment is the call in this deck um it says that a past way of doing something or the past is trying to release you you might be still trying to hang in there. It's trying to release you. It's saying live in the present. Right now in the present, you know how you feel about something. You know how you're good at it. You know it can work. Live in the present. Move in the present. Make some necessary lifestyle change here. Be final and definite about your decision. Make a judgment call here. Very, very distinct, very good energy. Um, and the shells that I got for you were financial abundance, very good. Stop, S-T-O-P, a message, okay. and job. This is, I mean, I can't get any clearer. Um, these cards, the universe, God, whomever, whatever you believe in, is trying to tell you that this is where you're supposed to be. There is abundance here. It's not easy. It won't be easy. You won't jump into entrepreneurship and be a millionaire overnight. 
For some people, it has happened in that fashion. For a lot, it has not. You might be on the lot side. Uh, stop worrying. Stop. Stop trying to do two. Stop being of two minds about something. Know that this is for you. Stop. Stop your job. Hold on, wait a Don't quit your job. Don't. Don't come to me. Say I told you that. Because no. <laughs> um. For some of you, yeah, you you do need to. Um, this is more so a mental stop. Like stop and understand that something is for you here. Um, you make it a message of a job. I just gave that analogy of that maybe you know. Hey, we need you. Or for some of you, if it's not entrepreneurship, if it's not your what you're working towards, you may just get the job. You may have been looking for a job. You may have been all over the place and trying to do this and do that. And you had to hunker down and understand that one area, uh, one career um, path is for you. And now you're getting the message that you're getting the message of, of getting the job, which is very good. Um, the, the card pulled for you here was volunteer. Now, for some of you, it's going to be volunteering your services in regards to you're not getting paid, you're not getting compensated. For some of you, it's going to be volunteer what it is you do because some people don't even know that you do something very well, whether it's being a tailor, seamstress, or uh, uh, caterer, um, mechanic, I don't know. But someone or some people or some service or some entity didn't even know that, you know, they have a wealth of knowledge, which is you, because the nines talk about expertise also. Um, they don't even know that you have that. So since volunteer, put yourself out there. The bottom of the deck can make this up new career. For some of you, um, the new career is entrepreneurship. For some of you, you're going to have a new career. Um, you've been working on this. Some of you are going to get a lot of recognition. It's going to be really quickly, really fast um, in this new endeavor, this new career. Um, you're going to, you may even be world renowned. There may, people are coming to you. They they see the excellence behind and the expertise behind what it is you have to offer. They see that that you're genuine and true, and that you actually care. For some, yeah, um, this is really good. So for career and finance, I mean, you just you just can't get a better spread. Um, but I am going to pull a few more cards over at the website, and we're definitely going to talk about this spread. For some of us. Who are concerned about is there someone new coming in for Aquarius? Um, we're gonna talk about that. So if you feel like the reading resonated with you thus far and you want to gain more clarity about um, maybe this person returning with a half a half ass offer, or you want to know about someone new, or you just you, you're really trying to really make something happen along the lines of working more independently or getting into a new career sector purchase the extended read it's always pennies on the dollar to get the extended read the link is below or get your own personal reading take advantage of the 20 minute uh, phone reading it is on sale the link is below also take advantage of the 72 hour energy read so that's the energy for the next 72 hours I pull a spread just like this love and romance career and finance you do not get to ask questions. I just pull cards. I explain the cards to you. Uh, so if you want to ask questions, get me on the phone. Um, also, there's a two question uh, tarot card reading via email. So you ask two questions. I pull cards, snap pictures, send the pictures to you with an explanation of what the answers are to your two questions. Okay, and that comes to you via email. Um, I'm hoping that this reading gave you an immense amount of clarity. Things are this is a really good month for Aquarius in love and career. This is really good. Um it, it just can't get any better. Uh well it could. But 
this is really good um go over to the website guys um thank you once again take care many blessings to all of you bye